Hi, I'm Guido from Wacom and in this short video clip I will explain how to efficiently use a Wacom pen, in this case my Wacom One pen, in Office applications like Microsoft Word. So it's very easy but uh, there are a few things you have to keep in mind. So let's open a Word document here. Typical Word document, nothing special with it and if I want to use my Wacom pen now as a kind of mouse re replacement to for example highlight uh, and mark stuff, you will see it will not work. It will be automatically go into drawing mode and will give me these funny lines in here. This is not a problem, so get me rid of these lines. So this is the drawing mode. So Microsoft Word recognizes, okay, there is a Wacom pen involved and every input you do is related to drawing and annotating. If you want to use your Wacom pen as a mouse and to want to comfortably switch between drawing mode and mouse mode, you have to go into the options menu. You'll find those in file, options, then the word options window will pop up, then you have to go to the advanced tab, and if you scroll down a bit here, you will find a section called pen. And in this section there is a checkbox saying use pen to select and interact with content by default. And yes, I want to do this, so I mark the checkbox, click OK, and now you see that the cursor has already changed, and now I can use, like a mouse, my Wacom pen to mark things, to put the cursor at certain positions, and what's also quite decent is that the, the pop-up window goes up here and I can immediately go and do some frequently used tools like highlighting or changing the font size. However, if I want to go back to my drawing mode, there is a drawing menu in here and then I have a couple of drawing tools to access. For example, I can go to my highlighter and now by activating the highlighter I can do my highlighting stuff as I would use in a normal situation. But there's more. There are also some pens like this one is, um, if I click on the small arrow I can adjust the thickness and the color and now I can use my Wacom pen to annotate in the document. So I can do circles, I can do underlines, I can do um, registration marks down here. So anything you I would do on with a pen on paper, I can also do to annotate Word documents. And all these annotations will be stored in my Word document. So if I share the document, if I print the document, the annotations are in there, which is quite nice. Okay, and if I want to go back to cursor mode, I can simply click on the arrow icon in here and now I'm back into my cursor mode with my Wacom pen. I hope this was helpful for you and I wish you a great day and take care. Bye-bye.